Hey guys, welcome back to the Cullico YouTube channel where we do all things fabrication, engineering, and design. In this video, we're gonna take a look at this new motorcycle that I picked up that I'm gonna use for my next Cullico custom bike project. This is a 2000 Buell Cyclone. It's essentially a Harley Davidson Evolution engine, but with a few upgrades. Now, from my research, it sounds as if their focus was on a lighter flywheel assembly, updated camshafts, and an updated and more aggressive cylinder head package. I'm not an engine expert, but in a road racing platform such as this, you would think that the lighter flywheels would allow it to rev up more, more peak RPMs, and it would have less engine brake going into the corners when you're hard on the brakes. And then of course, an updated cylinder head package and camshaft, just overall making more horsepower in the engine would be better as well. Why did I buy this bike and why did I choose this engine? For this next custom bike project, I'm gonna have a go at a full blown motorsports inspired Harley Davidson road racer. Now I plan to have full on motorsports engineering in terms of the chassis and geometry, but at the end of the day, it's still gonna be a custom motorcycle for the street. I needed to find the perfect engine that would check all those boxes. I wanted a unit style racing engine, you know, where the gearbox and the engine is all one unit, not a separate transmission like a big twin Harley. I wanted an engine that was kind of cool and timeless and had novelty like a Harley Davidson, but I also needed it to kind of perform well or have the ability to be upgraded to perform even better. And the way that these Cyclones were built, they're higher revving, they make more horsepower than the Evolution Sportster, and they put them in a road race platform as a production bike. So I arrived on this engine. It seemed like a good option and I'm gonna run with it. And let's not forget the best part about these engines. They sound wild. They sound amazing. Now that you kind of have the MO of the project and the mission that I'm on, let's yank this engine out of here. guys so we've got the engine extracted out of the bike and up here on the table it's always a bit of a process as we know these Harley engines are not light it's usually a two-man job always trying to be super careful not to scratch anything or crack something so that I'm looking at the engine up close it's really a good-looking engine and I'm excited to design the rest of the bike around it steps from here is I'm gonna build an engine stand for it and then we got to scan it into CAD so we're gonna use a 3d scanner and go around the engine and turn it into a CAD model and get it into my program so I can design the rest of the bike around it so that's pretty much gonna conclude this video I appreciate you watching and stay tuned for the future videos on this build and I'll see you on the next one.